In this video, I'm going to be bringing you another installment of my series, so you only have 10 minutes, using the January 2020 Show Us Your Sheet Load Sketch. Happy New Year, my crafty friends! In this series, I want to show you how much progress you can make in 10 minutes. I have a timer, and we will be setting that shortly. Every month, I use the sheet load of, of card sketch that uh, Alicia from Call Me Crafty Owl puts out. You've got the picture of the card. You've got your supplies needed, the dimensions, alternatives, and then you have the cutting guide. This month, we use five pieces of cardstock because we're going to mat the cards this time. Next makes for a real pretty card here. The papers I decided to use came out of this Disney set. I've had it for a while. I got it from a D-Stash. Lots of papers in here and some that are suitable for scrapbooking, which is one of my goals. I am like way, way behind. I'm scrapbooking my kids' pictures, but I digress. I have nine card bases, if you recognize these. These are from the coffee smash that small paper pad that I did. And this was a set from Michael's. It's 110 pounds, and they come in three different colors. You've got your really light, and then you've got what I consider the blushing bride color. And then I went ahead, I only had the eight, so I had to make one more. And this is their, the pink. So it comes has three different colors. And I used the three pieces out of the kit. I already cut them. And then I chose this lavender for the matting. It was a, a toss-up between this and the Rococo Rose that I got from Stepping Up. All right, the cutting itself took about, I'd say 15 minutes because there was the, the five pieces of cardstock to cut. I will link Alicia's progress video down below. So we will go ahead and set the timer for 10 minutes and we will start matting our cards. And off we go. Three different pattern pieces here. I'll make sure I separate them out. That. And then this. Okay. Make sure I get everything right. Oh, that's still too big, isn't it? Let's see. No. Now, the way she has it is you go all, all the way to the edge on this side, and you go all the way to the edge on the bigger one. So, this is the small one, so we're going to go to the right. Can't find my tape runner. Can't believe I forgot that. over here and so we have the border around this side
as you can probably tell, I'm not part of the design team anymore, but I am still going to be doing these. So you only have 10 minutes using the sheet load because I really, really like it. It's very handy and very quick, very fun. That's going to be one of my goals when we do our, our year outlook, what we're going to do for this next year. We're going to be making nine cards total. And I thought the combination of lavender and pink was perfect. Especially for little girls or us older youth that are young at heart. And then one more smaller one. I wanted to show you that I went ahead and fishtailed these with my punch. They're probably going to be different, slightly different lengths, but that's okay. Smaller one goes over here. Try to make it as equidistant as possible. We have a little bit more wiggle time with the glue. Okay. And this will go on here. Oh, I didn't cut out the sentiment. We will do that next time, I guess. When you're doing things assembly line, there's always more than one way to skin a cat. have this one we have do we have three we have should have three of many yes mm, wow that one didn't come out very well did it doesn't doesn't show much of the shows what the hearts but not a lot of words but I guess that's okay if I had thought about it I would have checked looked at that before I cut it I picked this one because I thought of Valentine's Day coming up, of course. But it could be just showing, showing somebody some love, which we all need for sure. Okay, so 
so those are ready. Oh, look, the pretty butterfly right there. Words right there and a flower right there. Nice. I am an affiliate for the Tombow Company and Amazon, of which you can get you can get your Tombow glue both places. I really love this stuff. It works great. I tried the aqua, the, the blue and the clear, but I like this better. I think that's perfect for that butterfly. I'm glad I decided on purple. Maybe I'll do Rococo Rose some other time. All right, there is our timer. And I got, I would say, a little more than halfway through the matting. And so we will finish that next time. And then start putting the cards together. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out. We will definitely see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.